trying to finish up my arrows, so I had to clean out my car. So I needed to go through all my tools and stuff that I use for making arrows. Since I'm going through them all, they might be of some interest to some people. So I will show you what I carry around in my pickup. And the contents vary according to what I'm working on. Alright, here's some antler wedges I made. These were not made primitive, these are made with bandsaw, but I did sand them down with a grinding or with a piece of sandstone, sanded them with a scouring rush. So hopefully I will be able to use these for a primitive bow I'd like to put together someday. This is my bow drill set, <clears throat> my pump drill with interchangeable tip. Oh, I've kept around a variety of bifaces and just arrowheads in different stages of manufacture. Some rainbow obsidian, day sight, I don't know what that is, I found it in the creek a while back. Um, these are unfinished. These are, these are ones that I've done a little more work into. Um, basically day sight, jasper and basalt. I was just fiddling around with that one. Um, these are some finished points um, from day site. Well most of them are actually are day site. For napper. And, of course, my black butter knife and the cedar bark sheath that I keep it in, which someday I will um, hopefully do a video on how I make these. I'm not an expert on that either. Jack of all trades, master of none. Here's my wedge, another antler wedge. Let's throw that down there. There's a bone, either a fish fillet, fish, uh, fish knife, or, or uh, I use it for use it with the baskets. I'm trying to slip uh, the pieces under each other. This works really good for making baskets. And I have just a single ply twist of dog bane around the handle, just in case. Just a chunk of bone, extra bowstring made out of sinew. These are these are different uh, sandstone of different grits. Um, some are really rough, some are smoother than others. And I use them all the time. Found a while back. I use it for pressure flaking or just all sorts of stuff. There's a nice little grinding pot I use for crushing pigments and stuff up then. A big wad of dog bane fiber, just in case. Some, some bear grease. Some red clay for different projects. Uh, here's a, some some clay that it's really pretty color when you grind it down. Here is a really sharp piece of green jasper like stuff I found over at the coast. And this is my scraper, my jasper scraper, one of them. Kind of semi-finished knife. 
I'm not real thrilled about. And here is some pitch sticks, pitch glue sticks. Um, this one's really hard, works really good. A couple of these I made, I put too much charcoal in and it actually it actually uh, will blob. <laughs> it'll ooze, I guess you should you could say. But it'll ooze. You can you can actually very very slowly bend it. Put too much charcoal in. <clears throat> That's why it looks like that because it's oozed. But these are solid as a rock, man. These are these two pieces are awesome. It's just a day sight by face I've used for different things. My arrow, my arrow notch tool with a length of dog bane cordage. You could hang yourself with this, it's so strong. I love dog bane. This is stinging nettle cordage. Uh, this is my bark, my bark peeling knife. Made out of deer bone. Uh, just another little awl. This is a bone pressure flaker inspired by Jim Wynn. I was giving it a try. I love it. Here's a nasal bone of a deer, which was inspired by Scott at Living History School. Someday I'll make a fish hook out of it. Cool idea. Great idea. Uh, just cedar bark cordage. Some scouring rush, which gets really dry and brittle when it dries, but you can actually stick it in the water and reconstitute it, and it works great. Some basalt spalls that I'll be showing you more of later on in another video. My saw that broke, my poor saw, it was so sad. There it is, look at that. This was my beautiful beautiful flat basalt saw. It was a glorious piece of work. It was super straight and I, one day I was using it and I got done using it and there was some grass on the ground and so I just tossed it on the grass and I didn't see the the rock on the, underneath the grass and it just chink and as soon as I heard it I knew what it was. No! But there it is. That was the best one. Man, super thin and long. Oh well. So here's some other another little basalt saw. And another basalt saw I've used quite a bit in my videos. Don't like it as much, but it does work pretty good. I don't like it because it's thicker. There's some abrading stones for foot napping and just some napping um, napping stones that I use for foot napping. I'm trying to relearn stone napping. Well, Here's my digger squirrel hide. Oh, yeah, also, there's a couple flakes here. These are the flakes I brought along on our survival trip. This is the one that, this is the one that skins the frog and the one that skins the digger squirrel. That one. So, I guess I just like the shape of it or something. I don't know. It works really good. Here's another blade I brought along on our survival trip. Didn't really use it much. I liked that little, the little one. And here's a couple of arrowheads I made. They are, I believe they're called Levelos blades or something like that. I might be saying that wrong or, you know, a, a flake that's been broken off. And it's razor sharp, man. 
So I napped off the end so you could attach it to an arrowhead, or to an arrowhead, to an arrow shaft. But all the edges on this thing are just razor sharp. So I might give that a try. The other thing I keep in there is just a piece of antler. This is the one I busted off. The rest of this antler that we broke off to make that. To make the, uh, whatever that's called, to make the wedge, antler wedge. I keep that in there too, in case I need to make something else out of antler. And I got another piece of basalt, which I can use to make, hopefully a hand axe. Or an axe of some kind, it doesn't even have to be a hand axe. Well, that basically covers most of the stuff that I bring with me. And like I said, depending on the project, depends on what's in my truck. Depends on what I got a whim for. So next weekend I'm going elk hunting with a friend of mine and hopefully we will get something.